Follow these steps to get your new free zone ready for use. Upon delivery, thoroughly inspect the free zone packaging to ensure damage did not occur in shipping. Don't discard the carton and packaging material until you've successfully installed and tested your freeze dryer. You can pause the video on this image for a quick reference of the parts list. If your free zone's condenser is colder than negative 50 degrees, your parts list should include a baffle. The list may be slightly different for some models, so please cross-reference with your user's manual. Larger accessories may come with their own separate manual and parts list as well. Move your free zone to the location where it will be used. Ensure the installation site is level and of solid construction with access to the proper electrical source. Your free zone's final location should allow a minimum of 3 inches between the back and both sides of your freeze dryer and adjacent surfaces. Restriction of airflow during operation could adversely affect its performance. Place the vacuum pump near the free zone. Before connecting the vacuum pump, make certain the oil is at the proper level. Use a vacuum pump that can accept the 3 quarter inch ID vacuum hose provided. Use the hose clamps provided to attach one end of the vacuum hose to the outlet port of the free zone. Tighten the hose clamps with a 5 16 inch nut driver or a flathead screwdriver. Connect the other end of the hose to the inlet port of the vacuum pump. If necessary, cut the hose to allow for a gentle bend without kinks. Plug the vacuum pump into the outlet located on your free zone so that your freeze dryer can control the vacuum level. The electrical requirements of the vacuum pump and the free zone need to match. Turn your vacuum pump on. Some pumps do not have a power switch and are always on when power is supplied. If using a rotary vane vacuum pump, an oil exhaust filter should be installed to minimize oil mist exiting the pump. An oil return kit can be used with the exhaust filter to return trapped oil from the filter back to the vacuum pump. Install the power cord into the receptacle on the back of your free zone and plug the other end of the cord into the electrical wall outlet. The drain fitting should only be inserted when draining the collector, not during lyophilization. A plastic baffle is shipped with negative 84 degree and negative 105 degree freeze dryers. The baffle is designed to evenly distribute collected ice over the entire collector coil. The baffle installs into the collector chamber with the flat flange facing upward. The arrow should point toward the front of the freeze dryer. Position the baffle properly to achieve maximum ice loading capability. When attaching drying accessories, it's important to ensure the gaskets, collars, and pins are installed as directed. This ensures low vacuum levels can be achieved during lyophilization. Here's how to install a 12 or 16 port drying chamber. Unpack the drying chamber and remove the white protective film from the centering collar. Lift the lid off of the collector and place the collar beneath the middle hole. If the collector lid is acrylic, place two gaskets over the collar. If the collector lid is stainless steel, place a gasket, acrylic spacer, and another gasket over the collar. Center the drying chamber over the gasket Place the stainless steel spacer on the collar. Insert the latching pin into the collar. Push the pin through the collar until the bend of the latching pin is in the middle of the hole. Don't push the pin in all the way. Turn the pin so the assembly is latched. Place the entire lid over the collector. Installation of your drying chamber is now complete. Here's how to install a 4 or 8 port manifold. Set the manifold upside down and stack components onto the manifold in this order. First the gasket, then the acrylic lid with the gasket centering ring facing upward. Now the stainless steel ring. Slide the latch pin through the lower set of holes in the manifold until the bend of the latching pin is in the middle of the hole. Don't push the pin in all the way. Now turn the pin so the assembly is latched. If the collector lid is stainless steel, stack components onto the manifold in this order. First the gasket, then a gray acrylic spacer, another gasket, then the stainless steel lid with the gasket centering ring facing upward. Slide the latch pin through the upper set of holes in the manifold. 
Push the pin through the collar until the bend of the latching pin is in the middle of the hole. Turn the pin so the assembly is latched. Turn the completed assembly over and install it on top of the freeze dryer, using the gasket centering ring to ensure that the lid is properly centered on the rim of the collection chamber. Installing a benchtop free zone freeze dryer is now complete. Find out more about using your free zone freeze dryer at labconco.com.